Welcome everybody to the Latin Nerds Network. My name is Jose and this is my review for Gran Turismo. Of course, a movie which I had zero interest in for several reasons. Number one, I'm not big into racing, anything like that. And secondly, it's a video game movie. And as we all know, for the most part, they all, let's be honest, they're almost straight garbage for the most part, right? In, in a world where you could say Sonic the Hedgehog was the best, con uh, best um, video game movie ever, what does that really say? And I like Sonic, don't get me wrong, but the best one is that one. You can make some arguments for a couple of others, but most of the times they're shit. And let's just call it what it is, which is unfortunate, unfortunate because I am a gamer and I used to play Gran Turismo when it first came out years ago, I think for the PlayStation 2 or 3, I don't remember which console it was in. Um, it's just not my kind of game, but it's, I know it's a very cool and I, technically speaking, it's phenomenal. I know it's, it's a big thing and the game, I think the last release uh, version of it came out last year, so it's still very popular to this day. Uh, what I find interesting here is that it's this, you know, it's a true story, which is fascinating because I didn't know about this leading into the film. I think I learned about this one or two weeks ago. Found out there's actually a true story here. That, well, basically, where if you had told me, hadn't told me that, I never would have believed what I, what I saw because the whole premise about this uh, young kid who's great at this game, and you know, uh, there's a marketing uh, individual who partnered with Nissan who created this contest, right? Taking some of the best simulation drivers of Gran Turismo, put them in the contest, the top, the top, uh, you know, 10 drivers or whatever, go to this academy would actually have a chance to race in real life. Um, and it follows one individual who actually wins the academy and actually enters, you know, the, 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 the racing and, and has some success, um, which is oh, it's just ridiculous because if you told me this wasn't your story, I never would have believed it. I mean, it's like, it's like saying, oh, I want to go play Madden. And all of a sudden, a week later, I'm an NFL team. It's just, it's improbable. But it happened, and that's what makes the story so fascinating. That it's actually true to take someone who plays a game and put them in a you know million millions of dollar vehicle going at two hundred some miles an hour against other world class and athletes and racers, whatever you want to call them, and have some success. That's incredible, and that's and I think what makes the story you know so, so much better than I would have been otherwise. Uh, we have Neil Blomkamp directing this one, a name you haven't heard in a while here who came out like gangbusters, man. He gave us District 9, a movie I love, and then but then came out Elysium with Matt Damon, which was okay, wasn't well, as executed as it could have been. And then he came out with Chappie, which is just straight shit. It was straight shit. And since then, you know, he's been hiding somewhere. I don't know, but I'm glad he came back. And I'm happy he's back now because I hope this leads to other things because this is surprisingly a very good film. I really enjoyed this more than I thought I ever would and more than I thought a movie like this could even be as good. And it's surprising because, listen, and I'll say this because, yeah, with most video game films, they're straight shit. Let's be honest. The majority is crap, a couple of okay ones. And in a world where we can argue that Sonic the Hedgehog is the best video game movie, that's an issue. And I like Sonic, don't get me wrong. But that to be the best one, come on, let's be real here. So the bar is really low, and I get that. But I think I'm comfortable, comfortable in saying that this may be the best video game film that I've seen, at least one of the best easily, right? It's a well-done, well-executed movie, fun, exciting. And, and like, listen, at, at the end of the day, it's a sports story, right? You're following this, the underdog, and he has to overcome the odds and have some success, of course, right? It's a standard formula. What else can you do with it? But it's about the execution in terms of, Giving, getting us to care about, like myself, racing, which I don't really care about racing, but it makes it interesting. And about the character himself, right? Rooting for the character. If we can generate that, you know, that, you know, having you get vested in the characters, you follow along, you cheer for me, like, yeah, I want to see this guy succeed, despite the fact that you know at the end he probably is going to succeed. But they did a really good job with the main guy, the character, I forget the actor's name, but he was, he was really good, really well, well written. Um, David Harbour, of course, from Stranger Things and, you know, Hellboy and et cetera. I thought he was great in this. Uh, he plays, uh, I guess, the, the the chief engineer, whatever the case is, who trains all the, some of the drivers and all that. Um, their relationship together, with, you know, with the driver, I thought was great. Things really worked. Had a lot of good emotional moments. A couple of them, uh, one which really surprised me, uh, being, you know, unaware of the history of what's going on with the drive. I'm not sure that what happened in the film, I don't want to spoil it, but was actually true or not. I'll probably read up on that later. But that was really well executed. Another good emotional moment with, with his father who is really unsupportive because he just didn't believe a kid could go from playing PlayStation to become a pro racer. It's just unheard of. So, uh, But that dynamic really came really, really well together in the end. The racing scenes are well done, well executed. The editing, the sound, the, the sound design, all that is there. If you're a racing fan, I think it did a really good job with that. It reminded me a little bit of the, what happened with um, 
a Ford versus Ferrari, right? Where the action scenes, that racing scenes were really well executed and really elevated that film. Same thing here. And I'm not saying this movie is as good as that because it's not. But what this is, is a fun, entertaining, well done film, which gives you a character to root for, a story to really behold and say, wow, that's fascinating. And it's just pure entertainment. That's all you can really ask for for a movie like this. This movie is better than any business being now. Is this one of the best movies of the year? No, of course not. Let me not oversell it. But it's good. It's fun. You don't have to even like racing. I said, I don't like racing. I barely played the game. And they did a good job of, you know, kind of putting you in the game, what the game feels like and looks like with some of the shots when you're racing. So I thought that was very interesting. So you're familiar with Gran Turismo. You're going to appreciate that. But it was just well done. Neil Blomkamp delivers a really good film. I think it's a really a crowd pleaser, right? And that's what this movie is. So, yes, I'm definitely recommending this, this movie, whether you're a racing fan or not, a video game fan or not. You know, the fact that it's a true story kind of gives this movie more credence to just your basic, you know, a film about a video game. Because it's not what the movie is, right? It's about a kid who played the game, who accomplished great things as a result. And, and that's really interesting to follow. And like I said, I hit, hit all those moments, all those beats. Really enjoyed the film. Uh, you know, no doubt, like I said, I'll stand by it. Maybe not the best, one of the best video game movies ever made. Again, that's not say much because the success has really come in TV when it comes to video games. Things like The Witcher and The Last of Us, but film is dog shit. But hey, eventually something was going to hit and I'm glad this one did. So yes, recommending it. Go check it out if you can. It looks great. Sounds great in a big theater. Absolutely, it's more designed specifically for that. If you do, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. And of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe below and feed the need to go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. Have a good one.